Hi friends, this is a new app inventor exercise. This time we're going to do a new app in which you can save the registers which you could save on a database but all of these registers may be made visible in a list picker. Uh, this is my channel, I invite you to visit it. Uh, here's my social networks. Please follow me and subscribe uh, to know when when I upload new videos. Uh, I will upload different kinds of videos. Uh, it's usually weekly. Um, okay, we'll go to App Inventor. Create a, a new project called database list. Okay. Okay, here in the script, add uh, a layout. in which we're going to aggregate and label and on it will say insert a data and in the arrangement we put a file parent and after and after a text box to introduce the text And again, another layout with the same arrangement, and we put um, center, and uh, here we put uh, two buttons, and in the first button we put uh, to be a new, new register, new register, and in the second button we put um, save. We aggregate a list in which we put the setting of file parent and in high we put uh, 300 pixels and we have to add the, the database in storage a list and now only have to configure the buttons the first one we put new and in the second one we put save okay Let's go to blocks part. Okay. Let's go to block blocks part. And the first we're going to program uh, it's an a variable. We declare a global variable. It will call list and we put in the text type and after we program the new button, which will put the the text on, on blank. So go to text box, the attribute, uh, put in blank the, the text box, put in blank the text box. And where is it? Where is it? Here. Okay, and duplicate this. And the save button will save the data on an app inventory list and in the da in the database too. And also uh, show in the list web when you click on save. So we put aggregate items in which one the variable will be the, the, the level list. We put a get. and put list that will get the data from the text box so go to text box and add it now we'll go to the database and add a store value and in the tag we duplicate this text the tag is like the name to identify the, the files so we put the name 
in the in the store value uh, we put the same variable and now we see the now we see the the mb ochoa name and here we could take the the value from here from here and finally we put a new element to appear in the screen and put again in the list in the global list and you know that the benefit of a database is that when you reopen the app all of your database are still there okay okay we'll do when when the screen initialized the database will put again in a list and how we do this uh, we have to put in the list variable to get all the values of the database put get value get value and put the same tag and in the value of the tag uh, we put to to aggregate all the data to some list uh, that will save all the data to a, a list inside the global list and now we duplicate this this and put it here that will put the global list into the list web and that's all the application just click on build app uh, and uh, run it and install it I have blue stacks and it's a good emulator to so I recommended it you open the application and put here put a new new data put on save and it has set it to the list and now just close the app and when I run it again and look here here's the previously saved data now we could put any data and it will save on the list uh, I close it to check it and again again here is the data okay this is all of the video uh, okay a little note you could use this to save some game records or whatever you want uh, you could save more registers uh, different registers uh, using uh, how do you say using different tags and uh, this is all the code uh, it's actually uh, a little little small of code okay I, I invite you to follow me and to subscribe me uh, okay see you in the next video bye